VIP access. VIP access with Aniko and Africa Loud. I'm so excited because this week my podcast is all about Roomba Tings, Roomba Kane, Roomba Music, Roomba King, but he likes to represent himself and introduce himself as the Roomba Prince. Welcome, Yaba. Thank What's you up? so much for having me. <laughs> Karibu sana. sana. Oh, thank you. I wore this for you. Come thank on, you, you approve. Thank you. Yeah, that's my thing. I'm about to steal it. From I have you. to say something to you, and I'm so proud of myself for this. Like every time I have a guest at my podcast, I always think of my guests and their style, and I try to wear something that will make them happy or something that will compliment them. So I, so I literally wore this for you, and you approved. <laughs> Sante sana, nakafiti. Thanks Asante. for having me. How my are name you? is uh, Yaba. I'm so good, Nikofiti. Na filpoa. Thanks for having me. Haribu sana. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. It's Sana. been a long time. And it's also been a long time since you did any interview. Yeah. Uh, Kitambo. I can't actually. I think my first interview um, was a few months. Years. Years. Sorry. Years ago. Mm. Yeah. So I haven't done an interview for so long. What What do you mean your first? Is this your second interview? Uh, in Since I went solo. Wow. I was in a group called Red Capella. Yes, of course. Yeah. So basically, since your solo career, you only did two interviews yeah, now. Yeah, I would say this is my second interview. <laughs> <laughs> that makes me feel yeah. so special. Yeah. This makes it feel so special. Me too, man. And the last interview you said was already two years ago. Yeah. Why did it take so long before doing an interview? Or did nobody call you? Or, you know, were you busy producing this EP that just came out? Um, <clears throat> I think interviews are there, but most of the time, unapata, I didn't have something to to put out there. Mm. So I, I didn't just want to go there because... Yeah, and then they always to want to interview. ask, so why did you break up? Hey. Da, 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 yeah, da. man. Yeah. Relationships in <laughs> Yeah, so... um. Sikuwa nafanya interviews because I didn't have anything to, mm. to share back then. I was still like uh, exploring, mm. finding myself afresh, having been in a group for a few years, like four or five years. Mm. And then, umebaki pekeako, you know. So I, I, I decided, let me just sit down and work on some things. Mm. And now I feel like I'm ready to share what I have. But still, I am still exploring. That's nice. Yes. That's nice. Talking about, you know, taking time to produce a conceptual sound to re re-establish who you are as a solo artist, you know, what is your identity? We now have an EP that has come out, Zitakazo Pendwa. Did I say it right? Yeah. Yeah? Tell me about producing this project and the fact that it's an EP, even though it has so many songs. I don't understand. <laughs> Yeah, Make me understand. Sometime, sometimes, um, <clears throat> I was listening to Bob Marley some time back, and I was trying to study how he does his songs. And Bob Marley could sing a chorus anywhere he wanted. He could do uh, a verse which has seven bars. He could... He, mm. So I Basically feel like... no rules. Yes, no rules. So I, I feel like I needed to break this for myself. Mm. The EP has like uh the it has eight eight songs. EP I fight kupita 40 minutes of listening. So it's it's like an album. So the name Zita Kazo Pendwa, it's because the kind of music I'm making will be loved uh down down the line, just like Zilizo Pendwa. Mm. You know, Saizi, and your people love. Zilizo Pendwa, it was there. Mm -hmm. Now, this is what I'm trying to put out there, Zitakazo Pendwa. I so, like time that. yake in a come. I like that. Whereby you will listen to Yaba 20, 30 years to come, and you'll be like, okay, that was this. So, I call it Rumbakin. It's a fusion of Benga, uh, Rumba, and Trapo nowadays, when it's a drill. Mm. So, to na connect the past, we are connecting Zilizo Pendwa. And Zita Kazopendwa. Whoever comes up with something else in after Zita Kazopendwa, um, I mean, it will be good because Atakwa inspired. Mm. Yeah. 
I love that. I love that about you because, first of all, your choice, um, you know, to be a rumba singer is so unique. Yeah. And when you someone hears your records without seeing you or knowing who you are, you know, it sounds like an old soul. Yeah. Where do you get that from? You know, what inspired you to particularly be this, um, you know, close to rumba music and sounds? Um, growing up with a grandmother, it's una, una grow una, a lot of wisdom. True. And then me, I came in Nairobi when I was 12 years old. Mm-hmm. One back at 12, me, me, I could Nairobi. So when I came here, I, I didn't know anything about what's going on. And also, um, I'm not this kind of musicians who say, I started singing when I was 12. Mimi, until I finished high school, I didn't know if I was a musician. Really? I didn't know, like, um, Willem Sano, what do you want to be? Mm. So it was just a coincidence. A friend of mine, uh, Kutoka, Tanzania, we had come to Soma, Kenya. So we were like, Kanza kupiga piga desk. And then he raps. I started as a rapper. So many people don't know I am. my lyrics are as a singer. They're so creative. It's because if a rapper decides to sing, they have a lot of words to put together. Mm. Now, if I have a lot of words to put together and have less to write, then it just, it, it just makes it um, feel so good. I might have lost your question. Well, um, I was asking you about Roomba. Yeah. And you took me back to the fact that even before Roomba, you, you know, you were living with your grandmother and you were not influenced by, you know, sounds from Nairobi or whatever city. Yeah. yeah. And that you actually didn't sing till much later. Yeah. But then when you decided to sing, why I, the choice of Roomba? I, I, I was <clears throat> not exposed to music. The only person I used to listen to through my brother was Bob Marley. So easy if it was okay, I'm the one curiosity. So I listened to a song and then Upo uru akuse mautaki lakini si wama to see baba akupenda e ame pendezwa na e simchukuli e fala. I didn't know the word fala existed I back see. then. <laughs> so unapata the content mm. ilikuwa poor and then nimziki imetulia. So I might just say. It might have chosen me. I didn't take myself there. I think it chose you because I'm. I'm. I'm it's. It's almost like I'm trying to, to. Not I'm trying, but most artists, when you ask them this question, they will be. They'll have influences, right? They'll be like, mm-hmm. I used to hear, you know, this type of artist. But you talk about Bob Marley. <laughs> Bob Marley is not even um, is, is, Roomba. Yeah. You know. So clearly, the music chose you. Yeah. As. And and this is different from so many others. It's always like I started in the choir, my parents, yeah, you know. High school, but for you, primary. you're just like me. Ilini kujia tu. Yeah, <laughs> me angu ili come too, cause um, nilianza ku explore music a few years ago in terms of rumba. I was privileged actually to go and play Ongala Festival in Tanzania because nakumbuka the first song ili kwanga kifo kifo. Kifo, kifo. Kifo. Sayo kwa basi flani ya ushago imeja kuku kuju and the driver is speeding. And then you're like, it's like Ongala is talking to you. Yeah. Or to the driver. You're speeding, you know. So my kind of people who I used to listen to, uh, Niao was a, mm. a, it's a good thing Les Wanyika's, man, they're playing now. Like, they're playing as if they were na answer. Can you imagine? See? Yeah, so also, if Rumba chose me, that was the right decision because I don't want to stop singing. You can sing this type of music forever without pressure of being on the mainstream as much as everyone wants to be qua mainstream. But I feel like it's the type of music where I will just sing because things keep on changing. So I don't think I'm about to run out of content in terms of <laughs> Zita Kazo Fendwa. I love it. You're like, Niko kwa space yangu. Yeah, yeah. And I'm comfortable to be yeah. in my space. Mm. The Zitakazo Pendo has a lot of musicians that 
I don't think any musician in this country have put them in one project. You know, you can go check it out for yourself, but uh, it's a body of work that we did, Ikona Wasani. Mm. And me not being in the mainstream, but convincing these people to work with so Those me. who are watching, listening, and haven't had the project, who are some of these artists who, you know, you have in your recent album, who you're saying are not the usual? Um, putting these people together was not easy because they, they were busy. They were busy and... Um, Working with Major, working with Savara, working with Femi Wan, uh, working with Modekai, it it was not easy. Mm. And before that, Sijaona Mse Ote Alikuwa Meka Awa Se in one project. Mm. So it it it, it, it is scare. It's so like want to get everything correct. You're still working on how to put it out there, yeah. Kabisa, you know. And now that I'm with you here again, I think we're going to start afresh with it. Yes, why not? Why not? And even I wanted to ask, like, would this be, you know, the project that finally takes Yaba into mainstream? And I even wanted to ask you, like, I haven't had any of your you know previous music on radio, but you're such a performance artist. Like if I, if anyone follows you on social media, you always are performing somewhere, yeah. you know, at festivals. Yeah. Um, and some of that music lives off better as live music than just on radio. But I was just wondering, like, yeah. have you have you had a lot of radio play before? Um, I think we used to have radio play when we were in a band. Yeah. Because we, we had two songs that were so good. Actually, three. There was Kagava, there was Tena na Tena with Had the mm. Band, and then that was there a was big one. one to five. Yeah. Sing that up, yo, yo, yo. That's where this type of sound Dili is. Mm -hmm. Dili. Dili is such a genius. He is. Yeah. Dili is the first person to take trap and fuse it with uh, Zilizo Pen. Mm. Before anyone else, before before Rumba Japan, before Extravaganza, Reda Capella was singing this. Mm. I think one day in life, to Tatoa, the album that we did, unfortunately, we parted ways when the album, that was the best album before Midnight Train. In a new manga, by the way. Why wasn't it released? Was it just <clears throat> the, the turmoil of, you know, the breakup that came... I ahead of the album yeah i think that that was part of it that was part of it and then also it was kuna kuna squeezy shout out to fem one fem one told me yeah but now if you're doing songs just release them toa because you're not the one who's going to decide at the end yeah of the it's day. the people so the i wish i wish we would have just and, and let people decide yeah but i hope to try to, to revisit Wow, there's a full album that full we just didn't album. listen to yet. Who is sitting on this album? Nobody. I think it's us. Okay. Nisisi too. Wow. It's it, Nisisi. Because everything was, was done out Sim of to too. A, we, Can we talk about this later? Yeah, we can. We can. Shout out to my guy. He's such a genius. <laughs> My guy is a bad one. My guy is a genius. I would love Truth to have be. another podcast with all these dope producers. You know, Truth we're always name dropping them here. Now, while we're on a scale, we're ni nani, magani nani. Yeah. Who is like Okelo Max? Exactly. To kifanya yo kabaseke. Kabaseke has played a lot of the most big roles in all the hit songs in this mm. country. So I really wanted to to work with him, and and. Thank God Ali, Ali come through. That's nice. Everything kabaseke ni kana kwa na grace ya God. Everything ana guzanga hivi na kwanga tu. Turns to gold. Yeah. Are you not so going nice. to drink your coffee? It's 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 hot. <laughs> <laughs> you can have your coffee. You can have your coffee. It's, it's hot, but yeah. So I wanted to talk about your music projects, your EPs, which sometimes I've been calling them albums and you're explaining to me that I consider them as EPs and not album yet. So, Kuna Besti, 
Na Rumba King. Uh, Rumba King. I love Bestie because you featured some of my favorite artists, period. Like, I love Steph Capella so much. Uh, Napenda Sana Mandela. He's actually on yeah. this podcast. Um, mm. he, he was on the on a couple of um, episodes back. Yeah. Um, and there's somebody else. Charisma. Charisma. Not charisma. Well, charisma is on there. And who else? There's somebody um, else. There's another artist. Um, there's Shari Africa. Shari Africa. And then Halisi, the band. Is it Modekai? No. It was Halisi. It was Halisi. Yeah. So it must have been. It must have been the there's song someone. with Shari Africa and Mandela. And Mandela. One of my faves. Yeah. So, um, yeah. And then there's Rumba Kane. Then there's this new EP. So why do you even consider those past, you know, releases as EPs? Because Rumba Kane itself was quite, you mm. know, prolific. Yeah. Seemed like an album to me. I, I always say, I don't think I will ever write music the way I did in 2020. Really? I see that creative space again. Because 2020, you were at your best. You yes, felt. Yes. Because you kwa band and then COVID. And then you have the fear of the unknown, you are alone. You used to have someone you used to work with. Mm. So kopeke ako, akuna gig, auna anything, unaeza sema, I have this, I can perform, auna evidence here, wate. Mm. So in, in 2020 is when I wrote Rumbaken. Mm. It was an introduction of who I want to be, mm. not who I was. Yes. So Niliji find myself. And I wrote, I can remember the number, 61 songs. What? In 2020. Because Kidogo, <clears throat> Tungepigwa na depression, you know, msani, that's the only you job. Know. So you're expressing yourself yeah. out there via your music. Yeah, I you had um, I had a say, like a song a day makes Yaba a better person. A is, song a day makes Yaba a better person. Because hakuna kitu tulikuwa tunadu. Yeah. So ilikuwa inaitua royalty playlist. I still have it somewhere. I listen to those songs and the album that I'm going to do, trust me, most of the songs will be songs I wrote in 2020. So the majority of all these songs are still not in any yes. recording. Yeah. They are nowhere. Ziko wow. too. In my phone... <laughs> 2020 is quite funny, but you know, I used to wait for my mom to go to job so that I ran inside her bedroom to record with a laptop because my brothers were, were playing PS in sitting room. Hmm. So it means, Mama, I took a job. Nivo, there's nothing I can do. You know, and shout out to my mom. She's the first person who ever told me my tattoo looks nice. Which one? This one or this one or this one? Nilikuwa <laughs> nilikuwa ni me feature because I didn't want her to see it. Yeah. And then she ended up seeing it and then she was like, okay. Well, you know. So my mom has never had any problems That's with, nice. with with what I do. And then Bestie was more of me wanting to work with friends. And ilikuwa, maybe that's why it's called bestie. Yeah, ilikuwa based out of <laughs> friendship. So my besties are your besties. Unajoi matters zingine zinanga split shit ndo ujue zilitengenezwa out of friendship. <laughs> and they are still out there streaming. That's nice. Yeah, so um, I'm still exploring. I'm doing EPs because I want to be ready to do an album. Because mm. rumba, ni, rumba ni tricky. It it needs a lot of work. Yeah, but I like how you fuse, you know, different elements of other songs and genres and sounds within the rumba itself. I love how you do that. It's not the traditional rumba, you know. Kuna pali na fika wona na surprise. Yeah, when I was in studio with Femi, she told me, "Yaba wogo po watu takuambia sa umianza kukuwa commercial unacha." <laughs> Unaacha what what you're you're Known doing. For. Yes. And, and I tell people I am so good at different genres of music. I was tasked to write 96 bars in two beats, no repetition. 96 bars means Sirudi chorus. It was a project ya kulipua. So imagine me writing 48 bars for every track. Na ilikuwa ma piano. I'm going to I'm going to send you that song. Wow. And I was just like okay. Kikamba kwa 
mapiano, kijaka kwa mapiano, kisapere kwa mapiano. So when people tell us we are changing, we will definitely to change. Change is inevitable. Change is inevitable. We have to. That's why I took a risk of doing this EP and taking the artists that I was working with to my vibe. But when I was writing, I was thinking about them. Mm. Because now, ukona meja and you know what he sings. Yes. And you, you sing rumba. So how do we, how, where do we meet? Mm. Yeah, so everyone who has not listened to, they need to go and listen to it. Most definitely, most yeah. definitely. Speaking about, you know, coming into yourself as a solo artist and, you know, still discovering yourself you know you're still talking about the fact that i'm yet to release my debut album like everything i've been doing are like eps how would you rate your time with the band is it so difficult to be in a band or what made you want to take us a, a solo path unfortunately I've, I've i've always said this to myself let me say it here in this country most of the groups that Aziza establish, in five years to come, they will split. They will split. Or, Naikwangi in a bad way, it's because we have different visions. Mm. People want to grow personally. Yes. And uh, also, Kunanja, it depends how bad do I want it. So groups become so hard to work with when kunaizo dynamics mm. where I want it so bad. Maybe me napenda kupiga luku, uapendi kupiga luku. So kuna there's a lot like I think there's a lot, a lot in, of dynamics. There's a lot. It needs a proper management. But first things first, it needs money to keep a group. Everyone comfortable with a group. Lazima kukuena do. Mm. No one is thinking about rent. What they are going to wear. Mm. What they are going to eat. That's what sustains a group. A group is a project. Whereby uko chini unaudlizwa. How sustainable is your project? Exactly. And the bigger the project, the more yes. money it requires. And then when you, you become, you do hit songs and you're not ready, you become famous when you're not ready. Now that's, that's something else. Because sisi tulifanya tena na tena, na unaamko unapata now, this is the song that is playing everywhere. Auna do, auna look. Like, you, you just, you just feel like there's something. It's not you. Mm. It's not you. When you're called for an interview, there was a time you used to be called for interviews. Manze unapiga simu, siku, nani anakupati affair. Yani hata interview yenyewe ni stress. You get. Yeah. So groups are hard to deal with. They Just money. The, the, the vision depends with a lot for mm. groups. That's why niliamua. Si tulipatana. Tujai kosana. I was with my girl Juicy at Gecko. At Ujawai Kosana Sisi. We were like, it's time, let's let's grow, just like our big brothers mm. did. It's not a bad thing. What to watch and kubash groups is It's a lot. It's 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 a lot. But it's easier for me now because if I decide something, I wake up and do it. I don't see see Siulizim say Unonaje Kitu. Mm. So it's it's very easy. If you call me for an interview here, if my partner is engaged, that interview will not happen. Exactly. Yeah. It's it's tembeni pekenyu man, because you will not need to come back again, start new YouTube channels. <laughs> it's it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work yeah. because basically you're starting from scratch mm. again. It's a lot of work to new bios. New bios. New, <laughs> we just want to sing. <laughs> just want to sing. Are you are you making you know a good living of live performances? Because like as I said prior, like you know the music you've produced in the past, um, Yaba music is very mm. heavy mm. live music, mm. and um, it's not typical typically the music you hear on the radio. 
However, this new EP is, you know, a new era of the brand. And yeah. I anticipate that yeah. more radio stations are going to be playing. And actually would ask everyone listening, if you're a media personality, if you're a fan, support this um, new album of Yaba, Zita Kazopendwa. Please play it on your radio, play videos, Kwa TV. No reason why our mainstream would shun a different type of music. I mean, it's all Kenyan music, yeah. it's all African music. Yeah. I mean, as a musician, I would say I've Nimerudi Komadangu twice between 2018, 2018 and 2020. Mm -hmm. I think I've went back to my mom's house twice. <laughs> you know, but. Now, after I went solo, I released Rumba Ken, I released uh, Vesti. Um, so, unamko unapata kwa streaming platform, kuna kakitu. And then, when I released my Rumba Ken, I did a lot of shows in 2021. Live shows. And then I was like, kumbe kuna do. Mm -hmm. No, like, there, there's money here. The problem is our bands are so big and our industry is still doesn't know the range between if you're not established. Ukituita sisi. Actually, sisi, we are supposed to be so expensive as a band. A band has like seven people. Hmm. And seven people, it means ukitupatia less than a hundred k. Msanini anayenda home bila do. You know. But I've paid my rent since 2021. Up to now. There's nothing else I do. I wake up. I touch my phone, unfortunately. The first thing I check my email, breakfast, and then my home studio. After my home studio, signed on manza kwa kuna a lady called Agnes, mm. and I'm the one teaching her how to do this thing. That's so perfect. It's so perfect. You know, that's how to do it. Yeah, Yaba is who he is right now, cause of me. Because of and Yaba. the people who listen to my music, mm. whatever that has happened between 2020 and now, it's my hard work. Shout out to Costa. Costa, I am very late. I come Nairobi. The first thing I am going to do is Yaba is the most hard working musician, and I'm like, you met a second. Yeah. So music in Alipa builds. Yeah. M music in a like music that. in Alipa. Music. You just need to position. It will not come easy especially in the live industry. Mm. And the reason why I'm saying this is because I am a good example of not giving up because But when I was about to give up, I was called by a friend of mine. Akaniambia, hi, we need you in an advert. So I did two commercials this year. Hey! I did two commercials this year. With EABL and uh, the ambassador ni Savara. Oh yeah, that KC. one. Yes, I saw that. So when you're about to give up, you get a job. And then when I was, I thought Imeisha, Airtel Kenya called us for another ad. Actually, Nimona, I saw Damond Alicia a while back. Shikatena. And then I was like... <laughs> See to see what you basi. Let's let's push. Alafu after yo ad mulifanya ya kwanza mulienda paka gig muka gig Mombasa. Yes. I like that. No, no. Yeah. For all the brands that zina shikanga wasa name kono. Big ups to them. Big ups to them. We now, need how, it. And how do you manage to do your own gigs? Collect well, your own money. Because that's another thing I would love you to, to talk about. Ume, at some point you have had a chance to take control of your own concert. Yeah. Um, I just realized there are no gigs, there are no enough gigs in this country. Mm. So we were like, why can't I do a show called Rumbakin? Hekaya za Rumbakin. Na nikajiambia, tutaiskuma tu vile tutaweza. I've never worked with any corporate company in this show, but I would actually thank Asol Sasa and Alchemist for always hosting my gigs and not making me pay for their space. 
you know so the first the kaza rumba came to lifanya karen kwa msitu ilikuwa na 221 people sitawai sao tulikuwa tumepewa space for free but it was <laughs> The little brother didn't tell the big brother that there was something happening so he was called the big brother was called when alikuwa wacha kambiwa wewe huku kwenu leo kuna watu wengi and then you know it's a least ground people pay na hiyo hiyo siku kuna watu so mbili so I'm about to go to stage and people want to stop the show because they want money Wha- so we made a loss the second one we did it when we were launching besti mm mm-hmm. The first thing I said when I on stage I have never seen so many people in my show. And guess what your own show 441. I think your one is my show. lucky number. 221 441. My own show that I call artists to come and support me. And then the last one uh it was i was not ready to do a kaya za rumba ken so mm. I, i i came up with like a small brother i called it ibada ya rumba ken to say thank you to my people and it had 300 watu mm. so niko na show yangu i'm i'm hoping it will next year it will be big and it will have enough sponsors for 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 it to go where it is and i've of all the existing shows yaba ana hosting wasani and i wish we could have money to pay them i will not sit here and lie to people that i pay artists we come up with a good agreement mm. here is a link sell tickets give us this percentage keep it if you agree to not approaching him say because mm. i don't have money to pay musicians I do not have half a million to pay artists to come and play. So Ekaza Rumba can eco even because of friendship. But we are hoping to work with people next year mm. so that tunaweza kachini tuseme ah Ekai na lipo say. So it's a triannual concert it happens three times a year. And it's my retirement plan I will not think forever. I'm doing things I always tell people I do things that were not done to me to people. You know because I know so many musicians who do not have a place to play. They discovered a guy called AOD um um Lelaika she's a very good singer. Mm. She's so good. You guys have the song together Mtoto. Ai 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 ni toto la kishua kitaka kutulia njulale kwa kifua nilini watajua napenda kuchafua <laughs> she's so good shout out to lelaika she's beautiful eh ni future ni bright so also when i worked with costa i was so happy he was so happy yani and na feel poor i can't wait to give more people a chance to join us and make a kaza rumba can something yes yeah um i'm trying to work on something called uplift msani mm-hmm. um i do a lot on my whatsapp status nas sinanga do but kuna hiyo sisi kawa sani msaki kwa kwa tv You know your friends would easily tell you eh hey, buda ni kuchini I hate it when my my close friends male friends suffer mm. I hate it when somebody calls me sitting somewhere in a road telling me yaba I am niko kokuta mm. I block them on my status I screenshot I hide I post on my status and people send money People send money to them they be like yaba ataka tuwezi solve shida hapo mali amesema hana kitu ya kukula let's solve that tonight in one day 10 15k you know i feel like there are so many male musicians who don't want to say they are suffering and it's not kenyans wa kenya ni waswa poa wakipata chance ya kukubash fear ni poa but kenyans are so good 
just admit you have a problem because when you keep it to yourself then outer side so uplift msani will be more about mental health and trying to i know there are so many people doing this but me i want a platform like yours whereby mwanaume anaweza kuja hapa alie and it it will look normal you know cuz my boys are no me lakini ya wasema you never even see you never even see you know males expressing themselves never never i don't see never it's so hard it's hard but when a man trust me come but, but 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 they but you all trust each other within each other like another male will write to you and say niko down hey but one even out an of artist. 10 Yeah one out of 10 okay. but do hakuna hiyo yeah that's why i want to have that platform whereby we can say you know this music is rice it's not what people actually see out there wase hawana marent wamefungiwa mahao madamu alikuwa nao wakihop watakuwa mastar wamewaacha you get it it's, it's 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 a lot for them so uplift msani i will actually we will be when everything takes off we call anyko to come and talk to to musicians yes, you help me get to. all these people the likes of kinabian to come and talk to this people most definitely you know because every time i sit down with bian he gets personal for a good reason and he loves you eh <laughs> Shout out to Ata yende ananiambia huyu ni rumba king. Hamfahamu anyiko mle kwa fahamu. Mi napendanga Ben kweli. Ben is a real one. Ben has helped me so much. Ben is a real one. And and also he'll be honest with you even if atakwambia a truth that you'll not like which will yeah. seem harsh to you. Yeah. I like that about him. Yeah. Yeah. So we hope to get people to to talk. But me nasimanga just don't stop. If you're a musician don't stop yako iko mm. it's there me i'm not going to stop just juice it too i had 8k followers i have 30k why should i stop there's something there i am an example out of all the artists that should have been chosen to work with corporates i'm here with coasters i tune i mean who are we we are just people had when you wanna had work huku chini and people see something in us so just be us we are not where we want to be but we are not giving up me i am not giving up and i hope i'll come back to this podcast again and tell you why i, I said i will not give up wow 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 that's where we're ending the podcast today and i do feel like this is a part one of yaba yeah i feel like we need a part two now the album is ep is out the album isn't even out you know this uplift msani is not even mm. out officially but it's something that you're already doing yeah it's a vision you have your shows are still upcoming so i feel like yaba is a flower and the flower sasa inafunguka it's yeah in a come and i wouldn't be here without my music lovers mm. who come to my shows all the time kwa ground sisi ni sisi ni wabaya we, we perform yaba costa a lot of us kwa ground tuko na watu so nice yeah we put shows on sundays and people still people come. come so i want to thank my fans for making me who i am and for you to have such platform for people like us to say things that people don't know about us. I'm so thankful for you and you know you coming to this podcast this podcast space and I've been so excited telling everyone Yaba is coming and a couple of people were like who's Yaba but I was explaining to them Yaba is such a biggie on the ground on mm. the live music scene hamjui kwa sababu mna listen to the radio and i i would love to continue having a space that is open to yeah. all artists just because someone is not performing as much as yeah but doesn't mean they can't come on here and vice versa so mm. um shout out to you and Thank continue you. with the hard work i Thank i see you. you i appreciate you i'm a mm. fan i love you cuz i also is one of my favorite artists so yani ni kona favorite artist whatsapp nyote mko hapo ndani mandela iko hapo you know steph is you, you in there you know you have a whole concert waiting for you <laughs> do it <laughs> i can do it okay yeah sawa Thank you. Thanks for having me. Thank you for coming too. Thanks to everyone out there. It's Yaba everywhere. I T S Y A B A. Yaba.
Prince Yaba, call me what you want. I'm not still the king. I'm I'm coming. Amazing. Thank you all for tuning in, for watching VIP Access, for listening to us. We will be back next week with another amazing performer and creative who will blow your mind away with the work they're doing day in, day out. VIP Access, VIP Access. with Aniko on Africa Loud.